everyone, welcome back to this Sunday's video. Today is day eight of our 17 day charter and this is part two of our video series. If you didn't see part one, make sure to have a look on the link below. It's probably been my funniest, uh, or at least most enjoyable video that I've watched and uh, it'll be sure to give you a laugh as well. What we have in store for you this week is super exciting. It's something that has never before been done on any of the Loon programs. And so without further ado, let's go watch it. All right, check this out. Modi Yacht Vava 2 behind me, the 2012 uh, Davenport yacht, 96 meter, one of the coolest yachts out there, often known to have the biggest party in St. Bart's over Christmas and New Year's. Uh, super awesome boat, check it out. She carries 34 crew and up to 12 passengers. She has 615,000 liters of fuel on board when fully bunkered, which is an insane amount of fuel. Uh, she has a 5,000 mile range with that, carries that big helicopter up on the sun deck that we often see bouncing around, uh, carrying passengers to and from airports and doing all other kinds of helicopter stuff. Often you'll see Drake, Leonardo DiCaprio and other big A-name celebrities uh, on her swim platform. So always a cool yacht to check out and see while we uh, while we cruise past. We've used all the produce on board okay. and at this moment right now we need to run in and go see the provisioners again round two. Uh, it's basically the halfway mark of the charter, so we need to get new fresh produce, a little bit of frozen, and flowers for the girls to get the pantries clean and up and running again. Um, so now basically we're just checking what produce we've got coming in. We're checking the freshness and the quality of produce. And we're checking that the order's right at the same time. It's in the memory bank. Got some really nice girls here. Still nice and earthy. Some good old rasps. Every couple of days as opposed to massive orders once off during charter, just to make sure everything stays fresh and we stay on point with what's coming in. Um, it went really well. There's just a couple of things that I'm unsure about. Um, just the amount that we've ordered with the provisioner and the amounts that have come on. So phew, we've got to take it back to the office, recheck it and then rework it and see how it goes from there. Hey everybody, I'm Dave, the Chief Officer on board. Uh, today we just did an awesome little stunt and I just want to talk to you about it a little bit. Basically we want to start off with just saying that uh, we value our, our clients privacy massively and um, we would normally never show any clients in any of our videos um, but in this case Dan has very kindly uh, allowed us to, to show this. It was a super cool stunt and I think uh, he'll agree it's uh, worthwhile our, our audience uh, having a quick squiz and, and seeing what we did behind the scenes to make sure that it ran smoothly and safely. So uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about that, but uh, yeah, please enjoy.
we have just arrived in Viticio, which is a super cool little nice calm anchorage on the northern side of Elba Island. We uh, came down last night from the Cinque Terre coast and uh, we've arrived here. We did the guest changeover a couple of days ago and this is really the first opportunity that the guests have been able to do water sports. So we threw the jet skis in the water, the lift foils in the water, the sea bobs are in the water and they're all out having a great time. Later on this evening, we're gonna pick up anchor from here, cruise around the top coast of Elba and we're gonna pull into Porto Ferrario, which is a really nice, cool little town. We have to pick up a pilot, go in there, spin around nice and tight. So a good, good fun docking. From there, super cool local dining experience. One of my favorite things to do here in uh, Elba. And then after that, uh, some really cool uh, nightlife in Porto Ferrario. So let's stick around. <laughs> Dino, can you give us a, a charter update here? Uh, yeah, so we're halfway through now, uh, day 11 of 17, I believe. Yeah. And uh, it's been a wild charter. I'd have to say it's probably the busiest, most extreme charter I've ever had. Um, yeah. We've had to split our shifts up to do um, night shifts because the guests basically eat all the way from 10 a.m. to 3, 4 a.m. Um, a la carte style, so I was just ordering off not even a menu actually, just uh, whatever they like, which is fine. Um, and yeah, so it's been a pretty good trip. We've been some, to some great places and it's been, uh, it's been exciting, hasn't it? Sean, is this, is this crew dinner? Yeah, yeah, so you've come in just in time. We've just about to put our crew dinner. Um, we've got a nice kale tabbouleh, uh, pecana steaks with salsa verde, salmon with uh, fennel ceviche and basil pesto, <laughs> uh, Cajun sweet potato fries with our special green sauce, Ooh. and um, a little bit of a leftover salad from lunch because we don't waste food on the boat, we utilize as much waste as possible, so everything comes in, gets reused, what we can reuse, we build what we can't, obviously we then have to discard. Nice, that looks epic, thanks for dinner dude. Hey, where's this, where's this food going now? How do you get this down to the crewmates? So, this is going to go into the dumb weights now, which we have on our level, which has just closed on me. Um, it goes in down here. And I don't know if you guys have seen our annoying blonde sister, Paige. Um, <laughs> every family has one. You just have to put up with it. But she's basically going to take it out from the dumb waiter and then set up for dinner downstairs. Hopefully she has the crew mess set up already if she doesn't. If she doesn't, she's probably going to get a beer fine for it. Which is Ooh. our little token of, um, how can I say, just basically if you do anything silly or don't do anything you're supposed to, you get fined as opposed to getting shouted at, but it's all in good camaraderie and a really good laugh, so it all goes well together. So she's going down now, hopefully Blair can go catch Paige at the bottom if she is there. I'm not sure if it is or if it isn't. The food will go out in time, but if it is, uh, debatable. <laughs> <laughs> Porto Ferrario, Porto Ferrario. This is Maria Flun, Maria Flun. Yes, good afternoon, sir. I just wanted to let you know that we are inbound for the port at uh, ETA. Ten five, minutes. five, ten minutes. Okay, Mr. Martinez, the approach, and then we put you. Pilot on board with the platform with the stern. Yeah. Copy that. Pilot boarding on the stern, uh, standing by channel 1216. Okay, stand by. Half the time we never. Uh, that is a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Ah, you don't use it. There he is. Did you see my husband? He talks so well. No, I hate my voice. <laughs> Please don't. You can put me in, just don't do voice. Do it like in the, with music, you know what I mean? Uh. <laughs> okay, drop, drop, drop. Dropping.
So it's a little after 9 p.m. here. We've just pulled into Portoferrario on the island of Elba. The uh, boat as we pulled in drew quite a crowd. We had a whole bunch of people standing around, paparazzi, everyone snapping photos, everyone trying to get a glimpse of uh, who they think they might be on board. So uh, it was pretty interesting to see. Now we're just hanging here. The guests have run off to that uh, Italian dinner tonight, and then they're gonna come back this evening, hang around, and then uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna pull off around noon, and then we're gonna make ourselves, we're not really quite sure yet. We're gonna look at the weather, see what's going on, maybe back to uh, mainland Italy, maybe down to Corsica, or even over to Sardinia. So uh, we'll see what the weather does. So thank you. Cool, good morning. It's uh, day 14. A little bit rough out today, a little bit bumpier than we normally like. We're in about 35 to 40 knots right now, uh, maybe two to three meter seas. If, as you see behind me, every couple of seconds, there'll be a, a big wave come, hit all the bridge windows. Guests are still down in their beds, probably not sleeping that well, which, you know, is something we try to avoid. But however, we had to get across to Sardinia this morning. So we left uh, Porto Santo Stefano last night, which is the Port Ercole area. And now we've done a nine hour passage across to uh, Sardinia. You can see Blair trying to hold the camera here as he's moving around. But we're getting there, everything's going good, the boat's handling it well, the crew are doing fine, not too many crew seasick, which is always a plus. And uh, maybe about another hour or so, and then we're gonna start getting into the flatter water as we get into the lee of Sardinia, and then arrive in Portachevo to spend the day. So uh, after that, on the dock this evening, and uh, awesome, we're looking forward to it. So we're about 20 miles off the coast of Sardinia. We're pulling, starting to arrive. It's blowing about at 35 knots. It's not very nice out here. Wouldn't be a great day to be on a little sailboat. As you can hear, there was a distress, a distress call just called from a small sailboat that's nearby. Uh, right now, we're just trying to establish where their location is and uh, if we're able to assist. You can hear the Sardinian MRC. Uh, radioing them and communicating. I think we are a little far away, but as always on the ocean, if we are nearby and we are able to render assistance, we will do so. All right, well, sounds like a good outcome on that one. Uh, they managed to radio back in and say that they should be okay and they're gonna uh, sail back into into harbor here in Sardinia. Luckily, uh, you know, they, they we're okay, good thing. Lots of other yachts jumped on uh, that were closer than us and uh, offered their assistance. We could have diverted, but we would have been about an hour or so away. But luckily, you know, lots of other people jumped in and that's the beauty about being out here on the ocean. Everyone helps each other out. So uh, good outcome, uh, no emergency and uh, another, another day out on the water. Yeah, we're getting wind speeds of over 40 knots out here. We're just gonna wait a little bit and see if we, if we get a window to approach. Copy that, thank you. Whew. This could be a fun one. Just uh, let's see if the wind dies. It's funny, 30 minutes ago we had 15 knots of wind, waited a little bit too long, and now we've got 31 knots gusting over 40. So let's, let's see, it's go or no go is really the decision we need to make at this point. All 
All right, so we're just hovering. We've just entered the harbor. Uh, wind's right on my nose right now. We've got about 34 knots of wind. Sometimes it's up to a 39, then it drops down to about 16. Yeah, copy that. I'll be on port wing. So uh, we're just waiting right now for the uh, berth to be empty. There's two boats there on boys that are disconnecting. And then uh, once I get the go ahead, we'll come around, quickly drop a starboard anchor and back down. Luckily, it is head to wind on the slip. So as soon as I get in, get that anchor in, that should steady my bow. And then I'll be able to back it in. But uh, still a fun one regardless. So let's hope it all goes nice and well. All right, so we're doing okay. Uh, got the boy just coming down. We've got two meters over on our starboard side. And uh, so far, so good. Got all the little ribs down here ready to push if we need, but I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna be okay. All right. good one we uh we made it in safe any docking where there's no paint damage is a good one um you know a little touch and go for a while there as we were sitting outside we were gusting over 40 knots so i was like do we don't we and then we sort of saw a little bit of a drop so we figured we'd go for it so we quickly came in dropped the anchor and backed it in perfectly didn't need any of the uh the, the tenders to push us off you know bow thruster worked great held us in position and we just backed it in so the team did a really good job there all the all the deck hands the stewardesses on fenders all the crew worked awesomely together to get us in nice and smoothly uh moving on today today was a bit of a skunk day uh you know as i did the early morning report this morning as we were coming across from mainland italy it was absolutely howling all day long so we managed to anchor just outside of portacervo here but uh, really wasn't a great day for water sports or really anything. So uh, we sent the guests off in the chase boat. They went to Cala de Volpe, a nice resort around the corner here for the day. And then uh, basically came back a few hours ago and then jumped on board and that's when we moved into the harbor. Luckily, the weather forecast is for the wind to die tomorrow. So we should be able to get back into our normal schedule, get out of here, go anchor up somewhere pretty and throw all the toys in again. So um, fingers crossed that that forecast is right and the wind uh, dries down. So. Uh, no, another great day though. Uh, everyone worked well. Guests are still having a great time. So, you know, it's not always sunshine and rainbows, but you know, we try our best. So, awesome. All right, so a beautiful morning here in Puerto Chervo. Much different to yesterday when we came in with 40 knots of wind. So, uh, as we're pulling out now, we're gonna go around Copy to the Madalena it. Islands. So we figured that uh, we'd give uh, Davey a go on the sticks. It's his first time driving the boat. So um, let's hope he doesn't hit anything. There's not much to hit, but... <laughs> yeah, luckily we've got the, the small boat here pulling everything out of the way for us. So uh, should be easy enough, just coming straight out. Okay, that's all lines off. All right, copy that. Yeah, it's all good, eh? Luckily Paul gave me a relatively easy one. Um, a lot easier than his windy, windy one yesterday. So uh, nice to get the first one out of the way. Touch wood, haven't hit anything yet. Uh, anchors are nearly up and then um, we'll be out of here. Beautiful day, hopefully get out and uh, find a nice anchorage, get the toys ready for the guests. You proud. Sally's gonna be so proud. So proud. Uh, oh, that's my baby. Can't, oh, look at can't wait to see Sally's comment. Yeah. Uh, you two are... My <laughs> Stay away, girls. <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> I hope you're not still filming. Oh, of course he is. Oh, course <laughs> hey, Sally. <laughs> Cool. 
Cool. Well, we managed to get off the dock, didn't touch anything. So uh, not bad for Davey's first, first time driving Loon. So, uh, you know, he is, he is an up and coming captain. He's doing, earning his stripes as chief officer. And then, you know, in a couple of years, we'll uh, take over a boat like this. So it's, it's moments like these when the chief officers get to drive the boat and, and gain that valuable driving experience. So uh, awesome job, mate. Well done. Thanks very much. Let's, uh, let's, uh, we'll try like we did the other night in 40 knots of wind next time. So, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I would rate that. What do you rate that? Eight? I didn't hit anything, so... Ten. <laughs> I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no paint damage, so that means it's a good day. Awesome. So we just got permission to enter into Bonifacio. This is one of the coolest marinas in the Mediterranean tour that we do. Uh, big cliffs up on either side, super skinny. Got to come on in through the cliffs, do a really tight 180 spin, and then a long back all the way down to our berth in the evening. Definitely one of my favorites and a, and a, a crew favorite overall. Super, super cool and just a really, really fun uh, marina to come into. So. Uh, Hopefully we make it through incident free as we always try to and uh, we get in nice and safely. That went really well. We managed to bring it in, spin it round. We had the ferry honking at us, so we got out of the way of her, then spun around, and we did that big back all the way down into Bonifacio here, where we tied up next to Resilience over on our starboard side. Overall, was a really great docking. You know, managed, all the crew worked really well. Uh, anchors dropped in the right place. Everything was nice and smooth. And then uh, lines went ashore, and no, it, was a, it was a great one. I'll, uh, I'll put that one down as a good one for sure. So the crew's starting to gel together nicely. Uh, now we're here on the dock. The guests are about to jump off, go for a walk around town, go up to the old town, which is an absolutely spectacular uh, old town here. You've got a big view over the whole harbor and then over to the other side through the Bonifacio Straits. Uh, then they're gonna come back on board, get ready for this evening. Some really nice restaurants here in town. So they're gonna go off, eat, eat ashore, and then come back and that'll be our day. Tomorrow, we're going to pull back out nice and early in the morning and then cruise up to uh, Porto Vecchio, which is about two hours north of here. So another really good day tomorrow. Welcome to the last day of charter, guys. Spirits are high. Everybody's stoked. It's uh, coming to the end of the 17-day charter. Longest charter I've ever done. I'm going to miss the guests, they were actually really awesome. Uh, going to be going to be interesting because we have three days to turn around for the next one. Back to Marseille, get a little bit of work done, and then we're on to the next one. <laughs> uh, today we're off to Porto Vecchio. Uh, we're leaving Bonifacio right now. Probably the nicest marina you'll ever come to. I'm sure you'll see it in the video. Pretty much what we do is we come in, spin the boat around, back in, and then when we come out, we just drive it out as we're doing right now. Uh, Porto Vecchio, when we get there, we're going to pick up a pilot and then we're going to anchor there for the night. And then tomorrow is drop off day. <laughs> So 
we just dropped off guests yesterday in Rome. Uh, and then we immediately picked up Anchor and did a 27 hour passage through the night. And we've now arrived in La Ciota, back where it all began uh, six weeks ago. Uh, we're here for the next couple of days, got a little bit of work to do, a little bit of a technical team coming in looking at one of our generators and a few bits and pieces. And then uh, five, six days time, we'll be back up over to the uh, French Riviera. Uh, we're just about to pull onto the dock here. Once we're tied up, we're going to have a little bit of a crew debrief, how we went through the, uh, through the charter, you know, pros and cons, what, what I thought, what needs some room for improvement. And then uh, obviously the, uh, the tip talk, the uh, below deck tip talk and everyone gets to find out what they uh, what they got for the week. So um, no, it's good to be back in La Ciota and have a bit of downtime for the crew. Okay, that's all we have for you for this week. I know it was a really long one, so well done for making it to the end of the video but uh, you guys have requested this longer style of content, so it's what we're giving you. Not every video will be this length, but um, we'll try and mix it up a bit, some shorter ones, some longer ones, just to keep everyone happy. But I just wanna say a massive thank you to all the crew. This was a seriously big charter. So, so busy, so many long hours. So massive thank you to all the crew. And um, yeah, make sure that you're subscribed so that you can see what happens in next week's video on Sunday. So. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Makes him laugh. You just make me more nervous. World class. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, look after yourselves. Don't do anything stupid, Sean. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, see, this is exactly what I was talking about, Blair. In that previous video, this is her. She is it.